What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we are in the Contact Radio Beta and we're gonna be using Kate Bishop as a 6 star rank for today with Suicide Masteries and without. So this first fight is a Star Lord fight in Labyrinth of Legends. This guy I think he's got like 3.3 million health. Uh, I kinda missed that. Uh, but dude, Kate Bishop is just so strong man. Like this champion, miles better than Viv Vision uh, in my opinion. She is so well made. The damage is ridiculous. Like, did you see that SP1? It crit for 16k. And that's not even the biggest damage. <laughs> the biggest damage from that special one is that cold stamp. And I'll be showing you a couple of different rotations you can do with Kate. Uh, so this here is, I'm, I'm basically stacking those cold snaps because they're ticking for a lot, man. Like, close to 3k each. That's just crazy. Uh, keep refreshing them in the corner with your heavy attack. Uh, there I switched my cryo again. Then we're gonna go for the third cold stamp, which you can only get if you have the America Chavez synergy. Uh, you get one more stack of uh, arrows, of arrow debuffs, uh, if you have America Chavez. So this is with a synergy. If you didn't have that synergy, she would only uh, be able to apply two cold snaps. But as you can see now, they're taking for 9,500. So we are built up to uh, three cold snaps. Now we're gonna go for the three Caltrops. And if you don't remember the Caltrops, basically when they dash in or uh, dash backwards, they take damage. And if you have the perfect release and they charge a heavy attack, they take double that damage. So now I want him to like dash at me or like throw heavy attacks. That's what I want to do. But before I do that, I kind of want to build up my third one as well. Although, yeah, here I'm gonna go for the two Fragiles, I guess, uh, just to save some time. So the Fragiles increase my critical damage rating. Uh, by quite a bit, actually. You're gonna see some big numbers. And now I think I'm gonna go for my third... Uh, what's it called again? Caltrops. There we go. So as you can see, he took some damage when he dashed into me. Now I think I'm gonna switch my arrow. There we go. One more time. Caltrops. I'll throw this. Boom. Release. And as you can see, we have those dialed-in passives, which, has, which are those uh, purple... Uh, buffs which basically increase my duration by 10% of my arrow my trick effects uh, My trick arrow effects, so they last 50% longer now because I have five So that's pretty great Then this is gonna be the third fragile and now we're built up We got two of our damage sources or three actually which is a critical damage We don't really need the third one the tranquilizer uh, because there's not there's no debuff that can be inflicted to me so now we're just want him to, to attack us with our medium attacks and dash in take that um caltrops damage and he's taking for cold snap and as you can see this is this is pretty effective like he is dying very quickly <laughs> 130 hits in and that was really that was three minute fight that's that's pretty impressive man but now you're gonna see something even more impressive uh this is going to be a little bit of a longer fight but this is a lot more satisfying. So, as you might know, you get a critical call snap if you do a perfect release on your uh, cryo arrow. But the critical call snap deals more damage based on your critical damage rating. And Kate Bishop have two, has two different ways to increase her critical damage rating. The special three gives you a cruelty. Uh, and if you hit the perfect bonus, it gives you a, a critical uh, rating buff as well, a precision passive. And those, uh, the Dissolver Arrow, which applies the Fragility debuffs, it, it makes your critical damage even higher. So before we throw the Cold Snaps now, we are going to build up our Cruelty like we did here with the Special 3. We can refresh it as well in the corner. It works as the arrows. And now that I have the Cruelty, we just need to get those three Fragility debuffs, which again will increase our critical damage by quite a bit. <laughs> and then before uh, before we throw the Cold Stamp, we do that, and the Cold Stamp is going to hit for so much more damage. And you're going to see it in a little bit. So we're going to go for the two Fragility, boom, because we hit the perfect release. Sunder uh, passive as well. Uh, set his critical damage to zero, critical uh, resistance to zero. And now I just want to do one more of that fragility. There we go. Switched it. And this is going to be the third one. Boom. And it's so satisfying with uh, perfect release. And now we have our critical damage built up. 
And as you can see, even our beam attacks hit very hard. And now, take a look at this cold sound. Uh, we might go for a special two, so we get two of them. Yeah. Uh, we have the cryo arrow ready. And we'll go for that special two. So it on time. Boom, perfect release. And this cold snap is taking for 13,200. This is already more damage, a lot more damage than when we had three in the previous fight. The previous fight we were taking for like 9,500, but now <laughs> we're taking for 13,500 with the two. And now we're gonna go for the third one and boom. Taking for 19,000. This is double the damage of the previous fight. This is almost 20,000. This is no class advantage or anything. This is just a regular fight. And we're taking for 20,000. We don't even have the Caltrops. Now we're gonna go for them, but dude. He is taking for so much damage. <laughs> it's just crazy. And with your playstyle, man, it's so easy to like refresh them. It's so nice because they, when they are in the corner, they have this corner debuff like Dragon Man, and they are more likely to throw specials, and you can spot the difference. The mechanic with your cave attack, if you hold it for like two seconds more, you just uh, push them back really far. And I also have a synergy where it makes, instead of two seconds, you need to hold it for one. So that kind of helps too. But yeah, you can see those passive stuns, the evade, it's just so nice. And this fight took like about 20 seconds more, but that is, that is just numbers right there. Couldn't even build up um, other arrows. But yeah, he's down. So, which rotation is more effective in the longer fights? This one or the previous one? So I'm going to tell you where I would use this one, which was the Star-Lord fight uh, number two with uh, the critical damage and then the call snaps. I would use it in this fight because this fight, Thing, is immune to bleed, which means he takes zero uh, zero damage from Caltrops because Caltrops is bleed damage. And because he's bleeding immune, there's not going to be any damage from that. So my damage has to come from the cold snaps. So I need to make those cold snaps hit as hard as possible. So that's why I will build up to my special three first, go for the cruelty, and then throw a special two and a special one to get three of those fragility, increase my critical damage, and then boom with the cold snaps. So we hit the perfect bonus there. As you can see, we got a passive precision as well. This is actually a pretty potent precision as well. If, if, if you hit it, it's pretty satisfying. <laughs> like, it's like one champion that if you hit the perfect bonus on the SP3, you're like, let's go. Because <laughs> you get some nice uh, benefits from it. Because as you can see, like in this fight, we're going to keep it. As you will see, we're going to keep this precision probably for the whole fight. That's a mistake. <laughs> got hit by that special two. Oh, so there's one doesn't matter too much but this fight i'm not i'm not gonna i'm gonna admit it this is not my first try because this fight is really tough to manage the spacing key special one uh pushes him pushes you really back um it's really hard to manage his rock stack uh your evade charge when you parry gives him a hit as well so you gotta keep that in mind and then there's the evade <laughs> from abyss uh so here i'm gonna go for my rotation there we go special two apply two of those fragile fragile debuffs there we go we got two now now i need one more i'm gonna switch my arrows there we go caltrops and then one more switch there we go fragility and boom we got a third debuff so now i just have to refresh them all the time all my arrow effects and now i just build up to my special two and then you're gonna watch him melt man it's just just massive damage like in this case i don't think there's a point bringing Aegon in the abyss dude i just built up kate for two two minutes and the fight is just over just crazy so much damage uh so yeah gonna go for a heavy attack refresh them i don't want him to throw the special right there we're gonna do a three hit combo there we go now i want you to throw this come on and the good thing about this uh kate bishop rotation is that if the defender is like being defensive, if you hit into the block, you pause your uh, arrow effects for two seconds, uh, which is definitely really helpful. And that's the sig ability. And we'll go for the third cold snap. Watch his health. Now he's got protection. Uh, but now he doesn't have protection. And he takes for 12,000. But wait, 
His resistance is up because of his rock stacks. Now that he has zero, 23,000 per second. That is just, just massive. So we just want him to have as less uh, rock stacks as possible. And the less he has, the more damage he takes. So we're going to bait a special right there. Go for the heavy to refresh. And look at this. 23,000 damage, 900. It's just crazy. The, the only thing is I got to keep uh, being aggressive because I want him in the corner because he covers a lot of distance with that special one. Uh, so unfortunately, he's not going to take 23,000 every second. But that is just still very impressive. Now I'm just going to walk in and don't go for a heavy because it's two hits. Knock him down. 23,900 again. He's just melting at this point, man. That is so OP. And there he couldn't evade because of my cold snaps. That's so nice. That's such a good champion, man. I love Cake Bishop. 100% better than uh, Viv Vision, in my opinion. And Thing is like one of the tankier opponents in the Abyss. It's just, it's just crazy, man. He's just taking it down. It's nothing. And then after this, I'm going to show you uh, a couple fights without suicides, just so you can see the difference in the cold snap damage and the base attacks. Yeah, we even hit that perfect bonus there too, so we got the precision. And as you can see, man, we kept it for the whole fight. That's why it feels nice when you hit it. And that's it. How much did it take? How much time did that take? That took four minutes, I think. Four minutes, yeah. Four minutes to take down that thing. 440. I mean, that's, that's pretty nice. <laughs> that's the abyss thing, so... Yeah, there's not too many champions that can do it faster. There is probably Black Cat that can do it really fast. But dude, Thing is just so tanky. And the best part about Kate Bishop is that she has the Cold Snap, and there's not too many champions that are immune to Cold Snap. And Cold Snap is by far uh, where the damage comes from. Most of the damage comes from, because then you have the cult, the cult drops. And keep in mind, that thing fight, it was without a cult, out of cult drops, because he's bleeding you. So that, that was pretty fast, man. I, I really like Kate Bishop. And in this fight now, we don't have suicides. I'm gonna go for the exactly same rotation as uh, against Thing. I'm gonna go for the special three. Try and get the precision. Did I get it? I didn't get it, unfortunately. <laughs> it's pretty tough. Uh, but you gar you're guaranteed to get that cruelty, which I really like. And this fight is gonna be so much easier to manage my arrow effects because this guy's special is so much easier. He doesn't have any rock stacks. The only thing I have to be careful of is the evade. So yeah. So yeah, I switched my arrows by double tapping the block to the fragility ones. Gonna go for that special too. You want to practice this perfect release because it really helps. Like really, really helps. We got two and then I need one more. Switch it again. I gotta do one more switch. There we go. Did it. And then go for the special one. Gonna, gonna get that third fragility. And boom, our critical damage is maximum right now. And we also have the Sunder uh, passive as well. We got four of those perfect release charges uh, dialed in passives, I think they're called. So our arrows last for 40% um, 40 longer. Now I switch to my cryogenic. Uh, cry cryo, I think it's called. There we go. Boom, perfect release, two of them. And the call stamp is taking for 9,600. Not bad, definitely not bad. And again, remember, it was taking for close to 20,000 with suicides. Now let's see how much it's gonna take without suicides. This is gonna be the third call stamp and boom. So now it's taking for, how much is it? Uh, close to 16,000, I feel like, yeah, no. Close to, yeah, okay, it was, it's 14,400. So basically, suicides give her like 25% more cold snap damage. That's just how I see it. Yeah, 25 to 30% more uh, cold snap damage. But dude, 14k, it's still great, man. It's still great. And now, of course, we go for the Caltrops. Now, whenever he dashes or does a heavy attack, he's going to take damage. That's why I'm trying to uh, do that. Try and bait those heavies, that's why I'm holding my block. There we go. Now I think I'm gonna go for my, am I gonna go for my third one? The third call drop? Yeah, there we go. And now he's gonna take even more damage when he does that. That's it, perfect release. Now watch me throw heavy. As you can see, was that 22,000 22, in the heavy? That was, yeah. When he dashed back, he took 11,000. And then with charging heavy, he takes double, so that's 22. 
Yeah, that was 22. I, I, I don't know if you saw that. So, yeah. And as you can see, my health is really high up there. So, I would say Kate is better without suicides. Uh, but she still works without with suicides. She doesn't really need to throw a lot of specials. If you do the preferred release, it's just perfect. So, yeah, now we're built up. We don't even, we don't even need to throw specials. Uh, but, yeah, I'm just abusing the card shops. I want, I want him to throw heavy attacks. And boom. He should be dead uh, in a second right there. That's it. Boom. So that was without suicides, man. That took... How much time? Uh, That took four minutes. Four minutes to take down 3.3 million health. That's not bad. Definitely not bad. And this fight is just Realm of Legends, but with no synergies. This is just rank 4k bishop. Uh, just so you can see like the two call taps, how much they're taking for. And the two call traps. That's why I'm not going for the Abyss. Because it's going to be slightly over longer fight if I had only two cold snaps. But that is just great, man. And that synergy with the extra arrow effect. It's with America Chavez, which she's been uh, reworked. And she's really good now, too. Like, it's synergies with good champions. So, yeah, here, I don't I, I don't think I'm going to go for my special three. Yeah, I'm just going for the straight up cold snaps. That will be, like, my rotation if I had her in BGs, I think. Like, two special ones, he's gonna be taking for 3.5, uh, 3,500. It's not bad. Definitely not bad. Like, now we took down 30% of his health. Uh, so when we go to 50, it's gonna be around a BG fight. Uh, health pool. And that was pretty fast. Like, it took us how much time? One minute to do that. Not bad. Definitely not bad. To take down, like, a really big health pool for BGs. There we go, now we'll, we'll build up uh, uh, for Cold Drops and Cold Stamp. Now I ideally want to go for like the Fragility, but I don't think I'm going to have time to do that. Now I'm just trying to bait his heavies. He took 12,000 right there, another 12,000, and another 12,000. He's dead. A minute and 30 seconds it took us to take down this Winter Soldier. Man, Kate Bishop is such a cool character. I think right now from the next featured, I really want... Cassie, and then the second one is Kate. 100%. She has so much utility. The playstyle is so satisfying. The perfect release. Uh, the kit is really well made. Uh, you can just push them in the corner with that heavy attack if you charge it for two seconds. Really like that mechanic. I really like the mechanic where they get cornered. They have a better chance of throwing the special, which is really nice if you just want to, them to dump the power and then knock down the heavy to refresh your arrow effects. That's such a good character. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about Kate Bishop, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.